This is your second real mission, and in this mission you are tasked with retrieving a Seraph prototype. So once you get off the helicopter, enter the building. Don't forget to grab the painkiller in the locker, and I'm not going to insult your intelligence by telling you to go out the door and down the two ladders. Also, to kill this guy, I am currently killing. Next, you'll approach the entrance to the manufacturing plant along with three enemies. This is the order I dispatch of them in. The nearest guy is first, the guy on the stairs is second, and number three, he's actually optional. You can go ahead and enter the manufacturing plant without killing him or taking him out, but you miss out on experience. So once the guy I've labeled number three starts to walk away from the plant building, that's when you want to take out this guy nearest to you. Go ahead and drag his body out of view and pillage it, do whatever you want to do. And wait for number 3 to make his routine lap away from the building. After that, go number 2, go to number 2. Who does number 2 walk for? Okay, that's all the number 2 jokes I have. Yeah, take him out. Now you can either enter the building or you can take out number three. Now is it just me or does it look like he was trying to tap there? You know, tapping doesn't work on the streets, dude. You need a claw or something. Okay, we have entered the building. Now this first guy you can get away with quickly taking out. Don't run, but you can power walk towards him and take him out. Since right now you only have one cell that charges, I like to go into this office and kill a little time, pick up some items, read some personal email, yeah. It's kind of funny how the ebook reader only has one color, yet the newspaper has many colors. And by the way, it looks like newspapers in the future cost a shitload because, yeah, they're basically like iPads. Anyways, once you're done twiddling your thumbs and charging back up, you can go take out another guy. Be careful when you dispatch this guy because of, yep, that guy right there. He's doing his rounds, he'll see you. So just wait for him to turn his back and do this. This guy you most definitely want to drag out of the way because when that guy returns making his rounds, he will see the body. And this guy is rooting for important documents or data disks or something, I don't know. He's confused too. Either way, he's pretty oblivious to most things other than noise, so you can take him out whenever you want. I prefer the method of hovering around his butt cheeks and then taking him out for some reason. Now the guard who's patrolling likes to set up shop right there and stare off into the distance, so that's a good place to take him out. Since I chose a mostly non-lethal character, I have the tranquilizer gun, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that on him, but you could just as well choke him out or however you want to dispatch of him. All roads lead to the same place. Once again, another oblivious guy searching for God only knows, he doesn't even know either, so kill him or choke him out. Go down the stairs and through the door and you'll find two guards taunting, antagonizing the police. They're, one of them is working on a sentry gun so you should take him out first regardless of how you do it. You take him out first and the other guy. After you've taken out those two guards, I would go back up the stairs and proceed this way to take on the next group of guards. If you haven't alarmed them, there should be a group of three guards having a conversation around the corner. So sneak around in this little office and there's a little spot that's perfect for ambushing. Eventually they'll stop gabbing, then they'll split up and go along their predetermined patrol routes. Oh, 
Of course, it's best to take this guy out in the office to avoid detection. You don't really have to drag his body anywhere. Next, it's time to take out locker room guy. It's pretty easy, he's in a secluded area. Just to be safe, before you loot all those lockers, uh, it may be best to take care of this last guard over here. Yup, that's your hiding spot. Yeah, kind of lame that he doesn't actually see me, but whatever. Now you are free to loot the lockers, yay! Last time I did that was with a $2 mic, covered with a sock. Now I'm Mr. Fancy Pants with this Turtle Beach headset, but I think all the pros wear like Astro headsets or something, I don't know. Oh yeah, I was supposed to do something, yeah. Something about securing this Serif manufacturing plant, I don't know. Anyways, continue down the path, past the locker room and where you took out the third guard, and you should have your first hacking experience. Super difficult. Oh shit, that was it? Okay, not too difficult. Just go ahead and walk past the pointless stuff on the ground. This next part's a little tricky, but you begin by sneaking down the stairs and hiding behind the sign. Once you're behind the sign, wait for the three guards to finish their conversation. Then patiently wait for the guard who's patrolling next to the sign. After I've taken him out, I drag him next to the oblivious searching for whatever guy. Now once you're ready to take out the guy who's right next to you, you have to be aware of these two guards patrolling. Once you're in the clear, feel free to take him out. Just make sure to drag his body out of view. From here, sneak under the stairs and get to this guy. Take him out, and wouldn't you know it, take the other guy out too. Walk up the stairs and you'll see the hostages. I wouldn't walk through the door though, it sets the timer off on the bomb, big deal, but you can avoid it by going over here and through the vent. You also could have done that to avoid the guards, but that's no fun. Eventually you'll get to the hostages. They're a little panicky due to the bomb in the room, but it's okay, just deactivate it. It's very important that you're careful and you use your special deactivation tool. Stand there and soak up the glory for a little bit, feel important, and then move on. Down the stairs and through this door. So you get this handy dandy tutorial on security systems. The gist of it is you should avoid being detected by them. Yeah, I know, pro tip. But wait for this guard to turn around and then creep along the wall and take him out. It's best to take him out at the intersection so you can quickly drag his body away before being detected. Continue past the intersection, follow the sign that says meeting room, creep up to the corner, and be careful to avoid the security system when you infiltrate the room. There are two enemies in this room. Ding! Ding! Don't worry, they're both in the oblivious state so you can take them out easily.